So you guys can see by the title here that we are going to be getting our first official market change. I feel like that is going to end up happening. And the reason why I say that this is our first official one, like, yes, we went through a week already of my team where we saw obviously the, you know, limitless stuff and everything like that on day one. Then obviously a week later when those packs left, we saw the new packs that did feature Zion Williamson and all them 110%. Like, yeah, like there was market moves that happened there, but this, I feel like is going to be the very first official one, mainly because one, not only are we again, two weeks into my team, but we are going to be getting a new set of players in this game. So you guys can see your season. Season one players, season one select players. This is going to be super important because these players are no longer going to be in the game. You guys can see people are already scooping up Grant Hill. Okay. There is none up for Grant Hill right now as a buy now. And the reason why for this is again, because that this set is going to be dropping. So nobody knows right now what the lock-in is. However, there's going to be a second set. Now, when you like get that second set or whatever, when you lock in whatever that second set is, and this set, I believe you are going to be getting a free player. What which is most likely going to be a pink diamond player, obviously. And you know, you have no, we have no idea who it is. It could be somebody really good. It could be somebody really bad. I'm thinking it's going to be somebody pretty solid. And I think a lot of people are going to want to go ahead and lock in, um, for this player. Now there's going to be some market moves that I'm going to be talking about in this video. So if you guys want to see more videos like this throughout the year, when I think the market is going to take a huge dip or a huge rise, just drop a like on this video. And also if you guys are new, be sure to consider hitting that subscribe button as well. So uh, actually let me get rid of that sub goal. Didn't even realize it's still on my overlay from streaming. I do stream every day on Twitch too. So feel free to pull up there. But anyway, Grant Hill, like I said, already barely any of them up. So let's take a look. Paul Silas here. Now, these guys, obviously, there's going to be a lot more. Like, there's a lot more, you know, or there's less value, I feel like, with some of these cards. You guys can see Del Curry still holding a little bit of value. Now, here is my thing with these cards, okay? As of right now, if we get to a point where a lot of people, you know, or if this lock-in becomes really good, these cards are going to start getting scooped up. And the reason why they're going to start getting scooped up a lot is because they're not going to be in the game anymore. They're, they're going to get taken out of packs, and that season, or season one select set two is officially going to be the players in pack. So we should be also seeing, I would assume, XP with these guys. I mean, I don't know because we didn't get XP with these ones. So maybe the second set gets XP. I don't know. But either way, people are going to want to start picking up these cards. So the value on a lot of these cards are going to start to rise. Now, again, that is why the only Amethyst in here is still, or now might be going for over 100K MT. There's still a shot that these don't sell or whatever, which I don't think that they will realistically as of right now. But depending on who this lock-in is, there's a reason why I'm making this video on Wednesday because I want you guys to capitalize on, this, capitalize on this now versus dropping this when the like you know the promo gets announced and everything like that. So I would be weary with these cards. I would definitely scoop these guys up because, like I said, their value could definitely jump up. And even if you know if they don't, you're really not taking a huge hit on some of these cards. I mean, if I'm being completely honest, like what's the worst that happens? You lose a, a thousand empty here, a thousand empty there, like whatever. But if these cards all start jumping up to three, four K empty, like you can actually make some pretty good profit out of not locking in this set. So I definitely recommend these sets don't matter. The volume one sets are already locked in. This is the, so like I said, the season one select one. There's a reason why it says mystery player for the final card in the set technically, and also the card that you're locking in for. So It'll be interesting to see what happens there. But also, some other cards that I think are going to be rising and crashing are going to be these guys right here. Now, first things first, I actually just talked about this in my mistakes video. Steph Curry, 300K for the pink diamond version. I do think he's still sitting around 350, 400K though. Um, but the thing about pink diamond Steph, right? Like he is definitely one of the best point guards in the game, but as we see my team and as we see, you know, what happens and everything guys like Steph Curry, you know, or when I just say guys like Steph Curry, but guys in the first promo of the year, always go through this, right? Dominique is over hundred K, right? Who is spending over hundred K for Dominique Wilkins when there is a bunch of Evo cards that are going to do the exact same thing he is doing. I don't know why this one has originally owner. Right? That's actually kind of crazy. Hey guys, if you guys need any online or offline grinding, be sure to hit up Rose NBA, 100% legit and reliable. The link to his Twitter will be in the description down below, so be sure to go hit him up now. That is pretty interesting right there. Why does he have original owner on it? Okay, so does that one too. I was going to say, I, I I don't understand. Like, okay, anyway, I don't know what the deal is. Maybe it's just a visual glitch, whatever. But my point is, is that, like I said, these cards are going to eventually start tanking in value. And it's maybe not Steph. Maybe you can hang on to Steph a little bit. But here's my thing. So I was actually just talking about this in my um, mistakes video as well, is that Diamond Stephen Curry actually held some pretty good value as of right now. He, the first one that was just here sold for 140K. And that was without a diamond shoe or anything. So this one with a diamond shoe... I I mean, he has a chance at going for, again, even higher, which is crazy because I don't think he holds that value because one, 
Again, as I talked about in the previous video, Steph Curry, like, you could literally get away with using this and with this one. The reason why I have the diamond one, I mean, he's a hollow one. He's my favorite player, whatever. I, but I'm most likely going to be selling him before the market completely crashes. Now, another guy I want to talk about is Zach Levine. Zach Levine is really good. But like I said, we don't know what is going to be coming in Friday's promo. So a lot of these cards are going to start dropping in price and everything like that. The further we get into the year you know, the further or the more that people are going to be throwing these cards up and the more that they get thrown on the market, the more their value is going to tank. Just look at a guy like Rudy Gobert as an example. So Gobert was actually selling for over, I think the last, when I sold my Gobert, it was last, what was it? I want to say it was, I think it was Saturday, I want to say. And I was able to sell Gobert for, no, it wasn't Saturday, it was Friday. And I was able to sell Gobert for 34 k I already saw Gobert for under 20k. Let's just go ahead and take a look and see what we, you know, what he's really going for. So 18k, still nothing there yet. So he's looking like he's going for around 20k MT, unless that one was a snipe. So no, he is going for around 20k MT. So already a 14k drop off. And again, we are going to be seeing that again with guys like you know the diamond version of Steph and all of those guys. So even if you're maybe like, all right, well I'm going to hang on to the pink diamond, that's fine. But for those of you that have diamond Steph, take advantage of that value while you guys can. Same thing with Levine. Same thing with Gobert. Shades of promo. I mean, DeAndre Jordan, I have for XP, but I'm going to get rid of him. John Morant, Blake Griffin. Ja's going for almost 300K. Absolutely insane. Blake, again, probably going for around 150K. I think Blake is going to be the first pink diamond that starts just tanking in value. I'm not saying he's going to become a buy now yet, but I know I lied. Dominique Wilkins would definitely become a buy now. But my point is, is that I do think that these cards are going to slowly start dropping in value. Even in this intensity promo, Pink Diamond Zion. Zion is a tank, so I, I would hold off on selling him. I, I mean, Zion, like I said, is definitely a tank. And Vince, same thing. Pink Diamonds are kind of hard to judge right now, but I do think some of the value on these guys, especially like Ben Wallace, um, the Diamond Zion Williamson, Oladipo, I think a lot of these cards are going to start decreasing in value. Like Oladipo right now is over 100K empty. Does he stay there though? Like say in this next promo, we release and we get a... I'm trying to think of like who we could really get. Say we ended up getting like a T-Mac or a Kobe or a Jordan. I'll, any of those guys, I promise you, is going to destroy the value of these cards. So you don't want to be caught behind. You guys want to be taking advantage of this while these value or while this value is still high and get the value out of these guys while you can. So hopefully, you know, those tips, again, do help you guys. Hopefully you guys are able to make some MT off of this. And if I'm wrong, then... GG, I guess, but I, I, I genuinely, I'm normally pretty good at predicting how the market moves and everything like that. So again, this is the first official time that I feel like the market is going to change. So like I said, be weary, but I genuinely, I'm going to put my stuff up. So if I take an L, I'm taking an L with you guys. You know what I mean? So uh, final thing I'm going to say too, I actually talked about this again in my mistake video, but right now the daily has a thing to sell um badges and they are all selling for a minimum of six uh i almost said 600k at a minimum of 60k so um i actually me personally i'm not you guys don't have to do this because there is there's definitely more value in certain badges versus others but i'm gonna just take all my bronze badges and sell them for 600 mt right now and just kind of capitalize on um getting the MT out of them while I can. Cause like I said, there's definitely some, uh, there's definitely some badges that I feel like, you know, wouldn't normally sell that are going to end up selling now. Now, like I said, I could be underselling some of these for sure, but, um, we're definitely going to uh, take advantage of it. So I highly recommend that you guys do as well. Um, dead eye. I mean, yeah, there's one for a thousand MT one for a nine fifty. Um, like that is a badge you can hang on to. I definitely recommend hanging on to obviously the good badges and everything like dimer dimer has a lot of value this year um, But the bronze one, I mean, so even the bronze one right now is pretty low So I'm gonna hang on to it. It still is dimer, but I feel like a lot of these random badges you guys could definitely go ahead and um, Look to cash out on so like I said take advantage make some MT with me Hopefully you guys listen because a few of you guys or not a few of you guys But like last year when it came to the diamond contract selling and everything I helped you guys out a ton and that's what I'm trying to do again this year So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy and with that being said I almost did my old intro. But yeah, peace